Hi guys, Dave here with you. Thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do give us a like, a share, a comment. All those things really help us out a lot. You know, there are certain things in your life that stand out and you remember forever. Well, I got a new one that's going to stick with me for a long, long time. I got a full set of grill grates. I got four of the five and a quarter inch grates and two of the two and a half inch grates and I got one of the grill griddle. Now if you're not familiar with grill grates, they're a really cool concept. They're an extruded anodized aluminum material that lock together like that. And they either can replace all of your cast iron grates or some of your cast iron grates. They change the heat dynamic of your grill and really allow you to control flare-ups better you get more flavor out of them, you get great grill marks with them, just a whole different cooking experience. They even out the temperature of the whole grill. They're used worldwide and I want to thank Grill Great for sending these to me so that I could show them to you. They sent me this tool. This is their primary tool that, that goes down in here it's for lifting things up and also they got a bevel on these tips. It's for cleaning debris out of there and then there's a similar one that they sent me it goes down but it's more like a pair of tongs you just put that through there clamp down on your food pick it up do all that or you can just use it like a, a regular spatula and then clamp down and pick it up so that's a really handy tool they also sent me this great brush now this is designed especially with the high and low bristles to go down just right in between the ribs and do a thorough cleaning that way the last cleaning tool they sent me was this tool. It's got a pointy part right here that's good for scraping out if you get carbon built up in your groove. It's also got a part here that's meant for just cleaning the top of the ridge. The pointy part is good for cleaning all around in here. And it's got a scraper if you've got to scrape some debris off the bottom of it. It's a good tool for thoroughly cleaning your grill grates. Also, I got this really cool thermometer. You open it up to turn it on. When you get done taking your temperature, if you push the button one time, it's got a little clock that lights up. And when you close it, it starts a timer. So the next time you want to say, well, how long has it been since I've checked my temperature on my food? And it's been eight seconds. Let's go check it again. So this is the whole system with this assortment. I call it the Grill Great Modular Cooking System. And I think you're going to see why I call it that when we get out to the grill. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, let's look at all the different ways we can put these grates together to match the menu of what we're going to cook for that meal. Okay, so as you can see, I've taken the cast iron grates off, and now I've got all the grill grates with the ribs up, and they're locked together. I've used one, two, three, four of the larger size and both of the smaller size so that I've got full coverage on my grill. Man, I can cook a lot of burgers and steaks on that surface. It's going to get hot. The temperature will be even throughout. That would be a great way to cook a lot of, a lot of food, even if you want to do you know, half vegetables over here, burgers here. This is a great way to start. Now, let's look at another way to set this up. So right here, we've got two large, these two large ones, the two smaller ones with the ribs up, but we've got two of the larger size with the ribs down. Now we can use these flat sides to cook anything we want. We can do some onions, we can toast some buns. Use your imagination, it's unlimited what you can do. Now with this configuration, I've got one burner in the middle and I've got these on the flat side up like a griddle would do. But what I've accomplished here is I've got two burners on these two that I can turn up as high as I want and I can turn these two down maybe on low if I want or I can start them high and bring them down to low but I've got a thermal break here that allows me to have two different cooking zones and you can do the same thing with them up or down however you want to configure it you can get different temperature zones by separating them now let's look at another way we can set this up now with this setup I'm ready to cook breakfast I can do some bacon over here I can do hash browns on this side some sausage but right here where I've got the griddle insert, I can do some pancakes, put a couple egg rings down. I can do some, some uh, fried eggs, scrambled eggs. Now I've got a great breakfast configuration because I've in inserted the griddle. 
Now with this setup, I've got three of the larger sizes flat side up so I can do some griddle type cooking. But I've also inserted one of my cast iron grates because I want two open burners where I do want some direct open flame on the food I'm cooking. Maybe I want to char some peppers. Maybe I want to do something where I really need some direct open flame that's not diffused by the grates. Again, just one more way you could set it up. The next step is I want to, before I cook on these, I want to pre-season them. So the seasoning process is a lot like we season our griddles or cast iron. Uh, you start out with a very, very, very thin coat of a high temperature oil. In this case, I'm using avocado oil. So I'm just gonna put a very, very thin coat on the back side of all the pieces. Just like with a griddle, if you do too much, uh, it'll, it'll get gummy on you. Okay, now let's do the other side. And I'm just gonna do a thin, thin coat. You wanna get down in between. Do the tops. Now, I have seen where guys just start cooking on them and that's fine. Uh, it works, but I don't know. I just think it'll be better. I know when I did those griddle grates, those videos on the griddle grates, that um, I did pre-season those and it seemed to help quite a bit. All right, I'd say we got a good coating going. All right, let's crank it up. All right, so I've got the grill lit and I've turned all the burners to low so I can bring everything up to temperature at a reasonable pace. Let's shut the lid and let this thing come up to a couple hundred degrees and then we'll uh, turn it up and see about burning off some, some seasoning oil. Well guys, we went through the seasoning process. I had them on low for a little while and then I turned them all the way up. I got it up to 500 degrees at one point and it took about well, half an hour for them to burn off at all. And they came out really good. I did rub the onion all over them. Uh, just uh, really, really a good seasoning as far as I'm concerned. Guys, thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do give us a like, a share, a comment. You know those things really help us out a lot and we appreciate it. Hey, looks like we're done. We got the seasoning all done. We're ready to cook on this. That'll be the next, the next video. So, Thanks again. In the meantime, stick around. We'll just see what's next with Dave. Thanks.